guys! My name's Liana. I'm the owner, creator and designer of Yana's Bazaar. I founded my shop back in my university flat in Exeter. Since then, I've been working from home in Basildon in Essex. And this has given me much more time to be able to focus on creating even better things. I'm about to show you some sneaky footage of what it takes to make one of my favourite accessories and hopefully you'll get a better understanding of the process behind the product. Here I've drawn out the tiara onto some black warbler to be cut out. I use black warbler because although it's much more expensive, it's a far smoother texture to the classic warbler, which is much more porous and rough. I'm being really careful not to cut it too small, because of course I can make it smaller when I sand it, but I can't make it bigger. Then I sand down all the rough edges, smoothing out the corners until I'm satisfied it looks even. This can be quite tedious depending on how picky I'm being. Then, it's on to heating up the warbler. Some people use a hot air gun, which, although is much faster and efficient, I use a hair dryer, because it allows me to shape and hold the warbler with my hands without having to use any gloves. When it's all heated up and soft, I place it on my model head to shape it. I then have to wait for it to cool down and set in the right shape. Then, using a hot glue gun, I glue an oval onto the tiara and place a rhinestone cabochon into it to shape it. This is to prep a setting for the gem later on. While the glue's still hot, I fill in any gaps and smooth out the border.
Once it's all set, I neaten it up by cutting off any excess glue and shape the setting until I'm satisfied. I then remove the gem, finally revealing the setting. With a scalpel, I cut in half a hair grip to be attached to secure the tiara to your hair or wig. Next I spray the tiara until the paint is even and glossy. This process can be pretty time consuming and usually lasts over a day just because of how long it takes to dry to allow me to spray another layer. Crumble got pretty bored of waiting for his spot back so I guess it's time to work around him. Once I've been told off by Crumble it's then time to add the finishing touches. Using a hot glue gun, I then attach the hair grips that I cut earlier. Finally, I add the gem. And that's it. So this is what the final tiara looks like. It takes about five hours for the glue to fully set, but once that's all done, it's ready to be shipped out to you. They can be purchased from my shop, along with many other accessories. If you have any questions, custom orders, or if you just want to say hi, drop me an Etsy conversation. Finally, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest news and offers from Yana's Bazaar, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Thanks very much, and hope to hear from you soon.